Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Ashik Saleem from Informatica GCS and in this video we'll see how to use the standalone utility to validate the Snowflake connectivity in cloud data integration. This will be the contents we'll be covering in this video. That is the purpose of the utility, the features, the steps for testing and the summary. And we will also be seeing a live demo of this utility. So the Snowflake validator is a Java based tool designed to test connectivity to Snowflake cloud database and retrieving the records. So it is mainly useful in the three scenarios. The first one being the troubleshooting the database connectivity issues. So we can test this using this utility to identify and troubleshoot errors such as connection timeout, request timeouts and query timeouts. Then it will also help in issue isolation. Like we can understand whether the issue is at the Snowflake database server or it's a query timeout or even whether it is a connectivity timeout. And one of the main use of this utility is that we can replicate the issue out of the uh, CDA mapping so that we can share the relevant information to the DBA team or any support vendor so that it, they can assist us on the same. So ideally this tool will be helping us to find out whether the issue is a, with the mapping or the task or it is a completely generic data based connectivity issue. So the mention are the features of this particular utility. This is independent of the Informatica version. So uh, it can be adaptable to various environments. And we have a custom SQL option which provides the capability to execute custom SQL queries, allowing us to retrieve specific records or perform database op operation as needed. So these are the steps for running the utility. We have to download the necessary file, which is attached in the KP, and then edit the properties file in the resource folder, then run the program using the Java command. So this tool output will have all the relevant information regarding the connectivity test. So if it is successful, it will show the uh, connection successful message as well as the query that is running if it is the if there is any kind of error it will log that error completely so that it will help us in troubleshooting now we will move to the live demo of this unit so this was the kb we were mentioning about so you can see there is a uh, utility file attached in this particular kb so we just have to download it and the step even the steps are mentioned in this one so for the ease of this de demo, I have already downloaded and kept the file in this location. So you can see this is the Java file we will be using for testing. And in this resources folder, there is a JDPC properties file. So I'm just going to edit the file. You can see uh, the username I've already given. I have to provide the password, the account, then warehouse, DB, the role of the user, then the schema, and also the table where I want to run the query. So I have updated all the properties as needed. And I'm just going to open the command line from here. From here, we have to run the command which we had already shown in the PPT. Uh, yeah, even though we have mentioned like Snowflake jar, the jar file name you saw, it is different. So I'm just going to edit the jar file name here. And then I'm going to run it. So you can see the JDBC connection is created. And the query demo is also done. So the metadata of the table is shown. And so we know the connection is successfully made as well as like it was able to fetch the metadata. So there is no issue in the connectivity from this particular server to the Snowflake. So let me show you a demo of like how the error message will be. Uh, let me just uh, change the password to a wrong password and show you. So I have edited the jdbc.properties file in the resources folder to change it to give a wrong password. Now when I run the connection, it is trying to create a jdbc connection and you can see jdbc connection not able to connect. The incorrect username or password was specified. So similarly, if we give a wrong db name, wrong schema name or any role is not perfect, any kind of error, it will be printed here. So this will be help. This will further help us in uh, troubleshooting and isolating the issue. This concludes the demo of the utility. So this was the KB I have shown you in detail. So you can refer to this KB for more details and also to download the test utility. And we would love to hear your feedback 
on this support video as well as other support videos, you can contact us at supportvideos at informatica.com or through our Informatica uh, Twitter handle. That is all for this video. Thank you everyone for watching.